Okay, today we're going to be looking at the watchdog um, timer on a Arduino. It's used for runaway code, so if you've got a large program that is running for years on end or months, whatever your objective is, and it gets caught in something where it can't recover, like getting stuck in an infinite loop or a counter or something like that, you can use the watchdog reset to trigger a reset just like as if you'd hit the reset button. Uh, so it'll start the program from scratch. It's very useful um, on long-term projects, like projects that are going to be running for years. So you get the uh, you can get the watchdog reset that I modified from uh, GitHub at Sodcore watchdog reset. So we're going to go to the program now. Now the program I have here it uses Narcoleptic and Timer One. Uh, the reason I chose these two libraries is because I have them working in conjunction uh, on one of my projects and the narcoleptic delay here when you're done with it you have to restart the watchdog timer so I thought it would be valid to show you this okay so we start by attaching the timer if you have any problems with the timer or the narcoleptic I have individual files for that so you can watch a little more information so we initialize the timer we add the loop the function call looping so every hundred thousand microseconds call looping is being called and it's being run through our main function is our function here and all it does is reset the watchdog counter to millis and then it tests to see if the test is equal to true it'll shut it down and it resets the awake time to milliseconds so what it's doing is it's testing every call looping to see if the millis minus awake time is greater than the time to be awake it sets the test to true and awake time to millis again so we start by including nar uh, narcoleptic or watchdog reset here here and then we go we have a, a counter that is the watchdog set which is a 32-bit integer so that it can hold the total of millis that counts up to for 45 days I forget the total value of it um, so we go millis minus watchdog counter if it's greater than five seconds it'll uh, less than five seconds it'll reset the counter so that means it'll continue executing, co executing code as it's supposed to be otherwise it will set a watchdog reset now over here we're resetting the watchdog counter the current millis so if someplace in your function code like I said you had an infinite loop it would tr it would not call the watchdog counter to re be reset to millis but because the timer function is being called over and over and over again it would all of a sudden the watchdog counter doesn't get updated it's millis minus watchdog counter is greater than the watchdog reset which in my case is 5,000 seconds it doesn't reset the counter so the watchdog is reset so we go to serial view here we're going to upload this sketch and you'll see that it started right here and then it's going to go into deep sleep and then come back out again so it shut down so because the test was true so millis minus wake time was greater than the time to be awake it called the shutdown function this test is equal to true shutdown request so when it shuts down we flush our serials to make sure that it, all our serial information has been uh, printed first otherwise it'll interrupt it we stop the timer once the narcoleptic delay is done timing we st start the timer wait a thousand seconds make sure everything's stabilized and then we shut down narcoleptic uh, which you can see what we were doing in the narcoleptic video and then we s restart the watchdog reset and the reason is is that the narcoleptic delay runs off of the watchdog reset so that is kind of what's going on here so we're going to take a quick peek at the watchdog reset uh, a header file which is right here um, and you can see all there is is watchdog start so it starts the counter it'll reset the counter or you can turn it off so you can turn it off and you'll be able to unplug your device and it'll ignore the watchdog reset again 
because uh, if you set it to start and you unplug it it'll just constantly keep resetting if there's a problem so as you can see it's not doing anything here uh, it's not ever triggering a watchdog reset but let's just say all of a sudden we put in while true is equal to true which we would never do but let's just say it got caught in an infinite loop someplace and we upload the file you'll see that it, after five seconds it's going to trigger a reboot see it's triggering the watchdog reset and that's because we're not resetting this counter so if you have any other questions or concerns about this you can get more information from the manual for your controller uh, if you read up on the watchdog um, and you can also contact me or comment for more questions okay thank you very much and have a good day